then I'm going to show you how to create a mail script uh, windows and create a button in this tutorial so let's get started you can either go over here and open the script editor or go to window general editor script editor I've already opened it so let's create a new tab you also can create a Python but we are going to create a mail script to create a window you, it's so simple just write down w i n d o w window and give it a name t u t tut for tutorial end it with semicolon and now go a few line down and write so window and copy this line paste it over here if you select all and hit control enter the window will show up now if you try to do this once again the error will show in the council saying that the line one the object name is not unique if you close this down and do it again the window will show fine but let's write down a single line if if what open close, close bracket it's better to close the bracket when you open it so single call the button above the tab button and if if what if w window slash e x i s t s exists and give the name of window tutes and end it with single call then go outside the bracket and write delete ui and the name what this do is delete the window and create the window once again so after that let's create a button out here you need to define a column column layout the L have to be capital and just end it here by doing semicolon and to create a button just write B U T T O N button and end it control A control enter the button will be created but the name is called button 56 let's keep the button its own name after the button write slash L to write a name you do need to write it inside the double call the name should be I believe a p p l y apply okay select all control a control enter then the button will create called apply you can also define the size of a button so to define the size of a button just after the button slash w for wide and slash h for height and give the value for wide I am going to use 80 for height I'm going to use I believe 80 for height too let's select and let's hit enter the button is created with the height and wide of 80 so let's just increase the height to around 60 let's give the wide of 200 let's select all and hit enter now the button is created button is not doing anything right now make button do something first you do need to give button a command and let's go over here give bo this button a command to give a command you can write either a command or just slash C for the command then again double calls and give command the name the name for the command I'm going to give is do it this is the command that I've given to the button now you do need to define a procedure to define a procedure write PROC procedure what this procedure is going to do is execute this this down small open close bracket then write open curly and the close curly bracket whatever inside this <coughs> will be executed by this button so what we are going to do is a simple P R I N T print print what just write down the small curly bracket and write down okay print what T that's why this is T U T O R A I L S. Okay, I'm just hit something. Now, if you, you will select Control A and hit Control Enter again, then if you hit Apply now, then <coughs> this is going to say this is tutorials. If you hit again, this is going to do same thing again. Now let's create another button. Select the button, copy, hit paste and for this button I am going to give it a different name for apply or I am just going to say just try the two button will come apply and just try for this I have to define a new command because the command do it is already taken by apply so do for just try do this T S I S this you also have to need to define uh, the another procedure for this one 
So just select this line, copy it and paste it over here. Copy this, paste it in on the procedure and for this I am going to change print to this do THIS this. Now if I hit control A and control enter again, if I hit apply, this is going to print tutorials and if I hit just try, this is going to do print do this. Now let's make it more exciting. So what I am going to do is create a spear from this one and the cube from this one. So go over here in the apply, you can write any name you want, write any name you want, write S P H G R spear and for this one just write cube, C U B cube, control A, control enter, the name will be updated, creating, find out your match script to create a spear, it's so simple, over here, just clean this up, go to create, polyprimitive spear, create a spear, the command will show up here, copy this whole line and just put it over here in the this because the spear command is do it comment line over here and just paste it this line we didn't want anything out here so what this is going to say channel on radius to 3.1 we just don't want anything over here let's just delete it and let's go over here create polyprimitive cube just create a simple cube and the command will come over here. We, we just need this one. Copy this one. And just paste this one. We even don't need to comment out that line. First you need to select all and hit enter. To update the window, let's just delete both of this. Now if you hit spear, the spear will be created. And if you cube, the cube is created over here. Let's see. Okay. I think this help you out.